millions of years ago, long before the first men walked the earth, giant reptiles called dinosaurs ruled our world. About 65 million years ago, the last dinosaurs died out. A world catastrophe may have killed them, but no one knows for sure what happened. Whatever the reason, the disappearance of the dinosaurs marked the end of an era in the Earth's history and the beginning of a new one, the Cenozoic Era, the Age of Mammals. What are mammals? Unlike fish and modern reptiles, which are cold-blooded, mammals are warm-blooded. This enables them to adapt better to changes in temperature and environment. Birds, most reptiles and fish lay eggs. Most mammals give birth to their young live and suckle them with milk. Usually, mammals have hair or fur to protect them and keep them warm. Earth is approximately five and one half billion years old. Animal life first appeared over three billion years ago. Fish began here, then came the amphibians and reptiles. The age of reptiles began about 230 million years ago and ended about 65 million years ago, which was the beginning of the Cenozoic era, the age of mammals. The first primitive mammals appeared during the age of reptiles. Small mammals such as this deltatherium, seen here eating a dinosaur egg, resemble the opossums and shrews of today. This Eohippus was the ancestor of our modern horse, but was only the size of a small dog. He originated in North America 55 million years ago. Unlike the modern horse, which has hooves, Eohippus had claws. During the next 55 million years, he evolved gradually growing larger and losing his extra toes. The middle toe grew longer and the toenail became a hoof. Almost two million years ago, the modern horse called Equus appeared. He traveled by land bridge through Alaska to Asia. In time, he died out in North America. But thousands of years later, he was brought back to America by European explorers. Like the horse, all animals which are alive today are related to animals which lived long ago. Early mammals were generally small and were preyed upon by larger animals, such as the flesh-eating bird, Diatrema, which grew nearly nine feet tall. mammals grew to enormous proportions. Of all the mammals that ever lived on land, the Belucotherium was the largest, standing twice as tall as any modern elephant. Although it had no horn, the Belucotherium was actually a species of rhinoceros. One of the strangest looking primitive mammals was the Platybelodon, an ancient relative of the elephant. 
His lower tusks and long, curved jaw formed a shovel-like mouth which he used to scoop up his food. The Glyptodon was a giant armored mammal related to the modern-day armadillo. From head to tail, he measured close to 12 feet in length. The Megatherium was a giant ground sloth. He was a slow, awkward animal. Although he usually walked on all four legs, the Megatherium was able to rear up on his hind legs to reach tree leaves, using his claws to pull down branches. One of the fiercest prehistoric mammals was the saber-toothed cat, Smilodon. Armed with large curved teeth and sharp claws, he could kill animals twice his size. Even though this Smilodon is hungry, he's not foolish enough to attack the armored Glyptodon. Instead, he decides to look for easier prey. years ago, the world's climate began to change and grow colder. Great fields of ice called glaciers covered many parts of the earth near the poles. While some areas stayed warm, others grew very cold. This period was the beginning of the Ice Age. Many of the mammals could not adapt to the new climate and became extinct. Others, such as this woolly mammoth, developed thick, hairy coats to protect them from the cold. Preserved remains of mammoths have been found in the permanently frozen ground of Siberia and Alaska. One mammal was different from all the others, man. Although his body was small and weak, his brain was large. Man's intelligence gave him a means to survive. When it became too cold, he made clothes to keep himself warm. He made weapons to protect himself, and also tools which he used in many ways. Man soon ruled the earth. From humble beginnings, mammals developed to become masters of the earth. Some forms of mammals died out and became extinct. Others are still alive today. Man has existed only a few million years, a very short period in the history of Earth. With his superior intelligence, man is the first and only mammal with the ability to change the world around him. Will man survive? choice is ours. <laughs>